What could possibly go wrong with this? This tool has been out for quite a few years now and as you can see by this box even I have had it for quite some time. I've had this for over a year and I still haven't used it yet. I have taken the batteries and the charger out and used those but the tool is still brand spanking. Isn't she a little cutie? Now the first thing you'll probably notice is this. It's a 12 volt tool not an 18 volt. As far as I'm aware they don't make an 18 volt glass and tile cutter. They do a 12 volt cordless one and an electric one but not an 18 volt one. Another one of those strange Makita anomalies. So it's a pretty specialized tool of course designed for cutting glass. Now the reason this has been sitting in the box for so long is because I don't really have the need to cut glass that often. I bought it just for fun because I had a couple of projects I thought I would do and then they sort of came up with other ideas and the, the glass cutter never got used. But if, as well as glass you can use these for tiles which would be a much more useful tool. You're much more likely to be cutting tiles than glass, most people anyway. It's got an 85mm blade. <clears throat> it's essentially the same sort of shape and style as the 12 volt circular saw but with the addition of this water bottle on the top. So the water flows through and it drips directly onto the blade up in here where you can't really see right onto the blade edge that helps keep it clean keep the diamond free so that it cuts efficiently and keeps it cool it's got a stainless plate which bevels to 45 degrees all good the depth of cut of course just like any other regular circular saw as well one thing that is missing though is a guard there's no guard for the blade so you just gotta be careful when you put this down that you don't damage whatever you sit it on or damage your blade. She'll cut to a depth of 25 and a half millimeters or if you whack it on a 45 she'll cut down to 16 and a half. She only spins at 1600. It's pretty slow. If you're cutting glass with it it's a game of patience. Five millimeter plate glass you're looking at 250 millimeters per minute or 10 inches per minute cutting speed so it's not super speedy, but with cutting glass, I guess you've got to be pretty damn careful. Cutting tile, you can go a bit quicker. You can do 10 millimeter thick tiles in about 300 millimeters per minute, or 12 inches per minute. It's got a 500 mil water tank here, which we'll fill up in a moment. I better put that to off. It's a brushed tool, and it's made of polycarbonate, not PA6 nylon. So it's polycarbonate with glass fiber 15%. So it's a little bit different to the usual Makita makeup of the plastic. Now I have used circular saws to cut just about every type of wood, all different sorts of wood products, plasterboard, fibrolite cement board, concrete, granite, all sorts of metals, but I admit I have never used one to cut glass. So first up we'll just practice on something that's not too important. This feels wrong. It was cutting pretty good, but it is a very thin bottle. So it's no surprise the way I was doing it that it broke. <laughs> well, she's leaking like a sieve at this point here, so 
I've found a washer that will hopefully deal to that. So we'll see if I can improve that. But if that maybe it was missing a washer, I don't know. If it's designed like that, then it's a fail. Well, that washer worked perfectly. It has staunched the flow of unwanted water. Now we will try cutting a, a bigger bottle. Hopefully this has a bit more thickness to the glass. Conveniently it has a sort of line there to follow as well. Cutting a bottle is not the greatest thing to cut, being that it's not flat. Any little flex when you're using the saw can easily shatter the glass. I didn't get the straightest cut, but it's only my second attempt at cutting a bottle with a circular saw, so... It's not sharp, but would still need some finishing if you were going to use it for a, a glass, a drinking glass or something like that. But, it's not bad. There's the point where I start and finish, so I didn't quite line it up perfect. But I'm happy with that for an early attempt. Two bottles down and still showing a full charge on a 2 amp out. Next up a 3mm sheet of glass or 1 8th of an inch depending on where you live. Remember when you're using one of these as well, don't try and cut toughened glass because you'll end up in a world of shock, pain and disappointment. Also make sure you've got gloves, glasses, as much safety gear on as you can have because it's a bit scary cutting glass. Bugger. I've got a pile of tiles somewhere, but I'm bugged if I can find them. That is actually a really nice cut. So this is a super hard ceramic tile. It's done a fairly smooth job of the cut and it hasn't chipped up the top. That's a nice clean cut actually, especially seeing as I didn't, you know, I was just doing it freehand, wasn't all that concerned about how straight it was because it's just a test, but that's actually really nice. Although a little bit slow. I'm not sure if Tyler's would like that or not. Not being a Tyler myself, I'm not sure how quick the quickest things that cut are, but does the job, did it a lot better than the glass. Now just for fun, this is a Pyrex dish, it's been sitting out in our garden for ages, we use it as a, a water bowl for some animals, but these are designed to go in your oven up to hugely high temperatures and stuff, they are super tough and very strong glass, but look what happens when I attempt to cut it. Now don't try this at home and 
for all you numpties, I am not expecting this to cut, okay? Well, it didn't fail quite as catastrophically as I thought it would. I think I need a bit more practice cutting glass. I've got a couple more pieces of 3mm stuff, but I'll wait until I actually have a use for it before I try it again. I'm guessing if I put it on a nice flat surface with something underneath it, something soft, a towel, some sort of matting, something to absorb the vibrations, then I imagine it would cut a bit better rather than just cutting it like a builder and chucking it on a bloody sawhorse. Anywho, um, but yeah, it does cut glass, cut the bottles okay, cuts tiles fine. If you want to know the full speed of those cuts, uh, I'll stick a video on the other channel on builds and stuff. You know, we look for all that sort of stuff. Um, and you can see how it actually performs in real life, in real time. So as a final word, I haven't really got a use for this, to be honest. Um, unless I do some tiling which is a possibility of course every now and again you end up having to do a bit of tiling um, so it might come in handy every now and again uh, I know my mother wants the tops of some bottles cut off some decorative bottles to make into vases or something you know what you know what mothers do uh, so yeah it'll probably get used for that but otherwise it's probably gonna become my least used Makita tool so if that's any use to you, so be it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a bit of a bit of an odd one. Like I say, check out the other video if you want to see more in depth on the cutting part of it. And I'll see you on the next vid.